All right. Um, I don't understand people sometimes. Okay. Mm. Engineer Battalion and Engineer Company. Kevlar Vest gives Trickle back, which is great, but it's not like we can do anything with it. Drone 1985. Can we smuggle artillery if we had artillery research? I don't know, let's try it. I feel like that, that sounds pretty good. Portugale Angolesa. Of course. Um, sure access to education. Because we are just such great people. We are just such great people. Angolan drones do it. Nah. Wait, hold on a second. Small, small arms. 700 units of Russian AKM. So no, it just gives you the, the lowest. Okay, I see. It just gives you the lowest. So wait, let's try this again. Accept. Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. In fact, up here, it also doesn't really... Oh, no, it does. Okay. It just disappears from the thing. So, yeah, the, the investing in your own country doesn't really work. Nuclear Angola. Yeah, nuclear Angola. Nuclear Angola, greatest Angola. Okay, so now we are actually building guns, which gives us a pretty decent advantage compared to our opponents, who are not building guns. Of course, our opponents have the Americans, which gives them a huge advantage over us, but whatever. I mean, if we can just rush down to Huila, then we defeat everyone here, so... Yeah, that, that's pretty good. Can actually even get other stuff? No, we cannot. Not even gonna, like, do a front line, because things could be bad. It's been Laden Angolian. Uh, probably. Probably Angolan. Oh, man. Eritrea is getting beaten down, actually, by Ethiopia, which is hilarious. How's Somalia doing? Economic aid doing... Thank you, Ireland! <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, we will be forever grateful to the glorious nation of Ireland. Somali National Alliance... Yeah, no, it's just... It's just a mess out here. No, oh wow. This is even an even bigger mess. How many people are dying in these wars? We're in Afghanistan. Damn, the Taliban are losing a lot. We are killing a lot of them. Which is good. Ugandan election, Savio whatever, re-elected. That's nice, I guess. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Sure, access to education. Thank you. Thank you for being so good. Uh, more factories than 10 to expand universities. Sure. Uh, when will that ever do anything? I don't know. Uh, tax cost minus 5%. Oh, we actually do have a factory on that, so... Could do it. Production efficiency, retention, and construction speed. Okay, I guess we should just take all these things. Production efficiency caps plus 10%. Oh boy. 
That's good. Okay, so we should rush towards that. More technology. Mounted HGM. That's never gonna be around. Armored vehicle design. Allows mechanized infantry. You know, if we take this tech, will that give us the ability to... Will that give us the ability to smuggle in tanks? Who knows? Ah, yes, the Celtic Angola Alliance. Yes, of course. All right. So we punched through the one you need, a guy. Prevent him from moving. Very nice. Yeah, he, he's moving in, but... I guess prevent him from moving in. Come on. Actually join! 25% chance of reinforcing the front line! You're slow. You're a slow motherfucker. If I take this, then they're screwed, essentially. Oh no! Game's crashing. Oh no, 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 it's not. Good. Okay. So actually, get more MPLA troops down. Come on! Faster! Run faster! Three days! All right. Bye-bye, America KKA. Yep, America KKA is screwed. Because now all their troops are fucking surrounded! Bye-bye, America KKA. Oh shit, he is uh, he's punching through my guy up here. Whatever, just stay here. Oh, actually, I'm losing supplies too, somehow. What? It's telling me that I do have supplies. And it would make sense for me to have supplies. Oh shit. Need to pop last stand here. Need to pop last stand, otherwise we're fucked. Angola is Ireland. Yes, it is. We really need not to lose the north. In this moment. Because if we do, we're screwed. Okay, I think we can just barely keep our guys in line. Yeah. Okay. We kept... We kept everything as it should have been. All the time. We are pushing in. Very good. I think we're going to win this war. Got 100 political power. Let's get some more... Heavy weapons. Thanks a bunch. And we have 400 army experience. What would happen if we were to switch our divisions to normal infantry? Wait, what? We don't have normal infantry. Why? Why don't we have normal infantry? Maybe because we don't have legacy doctrine? Why don't we have normal fucking infantry? That is... Enables art. 
Oh, I guess normal infantry doesn't exist. Enables infantry weapons. Enables militia light infantry, airborne light infantry, light recce. So why can we not get light infantry? Okay, that is really weird. I am heavy weapons country, and this is my weapon. Yes. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. The United States is screwed. Build roads, build railways. You know, I don't want to actually capitulate them. I want to kill the Americans. I want to kill them first and have my revenge. So I sure hope that taking the capital does not actually kill these guys. Because I want to kill the Americans first. Oh, they actually do have enough to get some supplies in Menangwe. So we need to we need to complete the encirclement by doing other stuff. Okay, Lubango is taken. And uh, the war is not over. Good, 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 good. Let's, let's keep things as they are right now. Want the Americans to die. Oh shit! This might be because they they got a new capital in Sarimbo. Okay, I see there. I see what you did there. It's because their new capital is uh, is in this area, so they're getting the the capital supplies. I see, I see. Alright boys, it's time to push in. You need us having a bra moment. Maybe you need command and control equipment too. Ooh, perhaps, perhaps. Um, it's not telling me that though. Because it's saying it's gonna, it's gonna allow light infantry. It's just saying it's gonna allow light infantry. And it's not doing it. Like, oh, thanks. I can put an engineer battalion. Whoa. Hold on. Support equipment doesn't exist. Sure. So I guess engineers is a good idea. Just like all the time. Legacy doctrine. Oh. What? Um, what? Me no understand. What do you mean? Requires the following technologies, modern blitzkrieg, mass armored assault. Um, yeah, that's bug too. Okay. Uh, fine, let's try researching command and control equipment. Yeah, at least the guys here are dying. Yeah, the American guys, even though they're taking massive attrition, they're still able to fight because of the new capital change. So that's pretty bad. Fucking Saurimo. You know, if you can hold on until... No, you cannot. I was gonna say, if you can hold on until, like, the Americans are cucked out of the way, but no, you cannot. It's really sad. A really sad world we live in. Where the American dogs will always have their back. Still, though, they just don't have enough supply in this shitty state to really get anything going, which is good. Yeah, about to finish our industrial complex in the Congo. 
Fucking hell. Our daily balance is only 001, so... Yeah. We're gonna lose money at some point. Man, I wanted to kill the Americans. Croatia leaves the European Union. Okay there, Croatia. Oh! Um... Uh... Is that good? That's not good. <laughs> for the world. Okay. Uh, man, Italy is in debt. Two trillion dollars in debt. Good job, Italy. Oh, shit, that deficit. That's one hell of a deficit. Small and medium businesses... Do we get to see what they're doing? Like, cause, you know, the, the fucking Croatians went Nazis. But, uh... Didn't see why. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Give me more urban areas. Thanks a bunch. Are you actually breaking through? Yeah, you are. Good. Okay, we're re about to retake Namibe. Fucking Namibia. Oh wait, Namibia is not in Namibia. <laughs> Maybe German Southwest Africa. Yugoslav nations getting ultra nationalist. Call me surprise. And there you go. Fuck you, Yunita. You're gone! Okay, so we actually managed to win the Civil War despite the Americans. Fuck you, America. Fuck you. Oh god, what's going on up here? Can we enter the war on the side of this guy? No, we don't have enough volunteers. Or... Interventionism. Oh. Right now, world tension is at 2%. Uh, and we don't have the war support. We'd have to be nationalists to take interventionism, which would set the rule, send volunteers forces allowed, but unfortunately, not in round. Woo, boys, we did it. Angola's reunited. Um, I feel like we should tab out of Angola and play something else. What the fuck's going on over there? I have no idea. Didier Ratsiraka forms new government. <laughs> Ideology communist, even though he is conservative. Because this game is bugged. Oh, we're actually losing? Yeah, we're losing. More taxes! Tax cost plus 1%. Oh no, what shall we ever do? Thank you so much. Yeah, maybe, maybe, we, maybe we could lower the total war spending. Although, only 0 0.009 is being spent on the military. Which is fucking hilarious. Man, the Unida really didn't have like any any equipment. So yeah. So basically because of all of this, we can't really fuck with anyone. And we're just just kind of stuck. On our own area. Oh, we are a regional power though now. Daily political power gain, loss cost plus 20%. Maintain the ability to protect our sovereignty and vital interests at home against interference from po larger powers. Man, very nice.
У тебя дефицит начался. Ну да, сейчас, сейчас увидел. You stash are back, of course. Play Russian. No. Allow democracy then tab out. <laughs> yeah, we, we can see what happens with um, with democracy. So what happens with democracy? Let's just give us the political power to allow democracy. Heal of democracy. Okay, so democracy. Election campaign heating up as race enters final two weeks. Um, the since last election on on September 1992, Venancio Venancio has been steadily steering Angola. Oh, okay. Uh, allowing democracy makes us switch things. Um, with the final votes being cast in two weeks, this direction will be challenged by powerful rivals. Most of the campaign's advertisement spending has already happened, and polls are starting to pick up the effects. Industrial conglomerates is providing a bit of help to several parties, but will largely stay on the sidelines. So they're indifferent to our government. Uh, so that's the same with the fossil fuel industry and the international bankers. So this is probably uh, dependent on, you know, the opinion of the government of the uh, influential factions. Uh, only one of two options will happen. 50% chance of nothing, nothing happens, and 50% chance of nothing happens. Okay, so we're going to have a vote. Foreign policy debate. Venancio Venancio faces tough priorities for who to attack. With the world an increasingly increasingly tumultuous place, the issue has become more important to, vo important to voters than usual. Some hard-hitting negative ads will make sure that our popularity tumbles, blah, blah, blah. So 75% chance of nothing happens, 25% chance of something happening. Democracy doesn't work. Well, so far it's working. Election threshold is 5%. So how are parties in terms of popularity? There is 52%, 31%. So only three parties would have anything. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Invite controversial speaker to join on the campaign trail. Invite him and open for the best. Or don't risk it. Nah, don't risk it. Because we're... I mean, it's likely that we'll just win because we have we have 52%, right? Moroccan election government change, a moderate one. Socialist Union of Popular Forces Western Outlook. Okay. Sure there, my friend. Uh, Spain? What? What are you doing, Spain? Why are you a Nazi? It's not working out for them. It's not working out for them. Will they, like, kill people or something? Tolka national populism. Tolka hardcore. Of course. Uh, oh, okay. So that's what's happening in the US. There's... Establish a state religion. Hello, Canada. Liberal party. Very large drug cartels. Hmm. Come to Brazil. Economic exploitation. This will grant free industry and cheap resources but harm relations. Okay, so that's if we have over 50% influence. We have 12% influence because of our investment. Could just give economic aid. Attempt coup. That's if we have over 30% influence. That's if he's at peace. That's if we have a different outlook, which is not the case. Manipulate politics. 
Okay. 